Thank you for tuning in to Chaos Culture Culture Radio. I'm back here with my friends again, again, and again, and again, 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 and again, and again. It's Prince Hakeem. And this is your man, Ronnie Ron in the house. And this is your boy, the new Jordan Nair. Let's go. Let's get it. Brothers, it's been a long week for us. And it's getting even busier. What y'all boys been up to? Hey, hey man. man, it's the it's the NBA playoffs. My Heat's are winning, so I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that, Ronnie. I'm watching the NBA playoffs, you know. Hey, man, it's, it's been good. Everything's good over here in Cali, Cali, Cali. California, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what's popping, sir. Um, you know, today. We're going to talk about the simps, our beloved simp, our beloved recurring simp. You know what I mean? The one who claims to have zero sugar, but seems like he has a little bit more sugar than ever, or or weakness. We know who runs the relationships. And um, I'm going to let my my homeboy Ron know. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. This is us, Jordan talking. Jordan. You could tell. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so this is so this this is fresh, fresh, fresh topics. I'm glad we got on this. So this is the Boggy Boy, you know, DJ Envy, you know, for the Breakfast Club and his wife. So, you know, they came out with a book. Um, came out on April 19th. Uh, the new book is called Real Life, Real Love, Life Lessons, Joy, Pain, the message that holds us to us together. And they did an interview on the share room, I believe, yesterday, you know, talking about the book. Mm-hmm. And one of the topics they talking about was sex, their sex life. So um, they were saying, like his wife was saying, and, and uh, DJ he was saying, like the first 10 years of their relationship, um, he didn't make his wife have an orgasm. And, you know, you know, that's to me, that's, that's kind of messed up. And um, I have a quote here for one of the books. If one she was saying, and uh, this is on the book right here. So she says, we will be intimate. He will be putting his best foot forward like he is in business or satisfying just all around. He lives to make me happy. He put his best foot forward in that role. So I would see him trying to really going to work and I am sure many women, women can relate. You want to reward that man for, for what that works. And the only reward that you have to offer is an orgasm. And even if I didn't feel it, I will still be performative. And then he said in the book that, you know, that it hurt him. It hurt me because I thought I was pleasing my wife. You hear all these stories about women talking about their girlfriends. Oh, girl, he was so so short. Oh, girl, he ain't doing nothing. And I feel like they're laughing. And now I feel like that's what my wife is doing. And so, so my thing is, is this. It's like, you know, so first of all, stuff like this, this is embarrassment. This is so much resemblance to the Jaden and Will of, of embarrassment. And to me, it's like, you know, you, to me, that's, you keep that in household. You figured it out. I don't care, you, you know, you hire a sex therapist, counseling, whatever, trying to find something to do. But stuff like that, especially in a marriage, you, you keep that sacred. Never ever should get out of there, period. Now you, now you have it in the book and, I, and even though, you know, he had a past, you know, of, of cheating, you know, infidelity. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I get all that. And, you know, my thing is, it's like, once once he was doing his long, you know, cheating and affairs and everything, I felt like, you know, she hold a grudge. Because stuff like that, you know, you hear like a, that woman would divorce him. So, you know, with that is, it's like, I, I believe you like, you know, after that, you know, she felt, I feel like she, she can control that relationship. And, I feel like still right now, put stuff like this in the book. He's like, I feel like you still, that woman's still going to crush upon him and everything. 
because stuff like that should never go wrong. And what Hakeem says, like, you know, this is what simps do. And, you know, and to me, it's like, you know, you not, like I said, you, like I said, Twitter is going crazy. Like you say, you're probably embarrassing your husband. And like I said, like stuff like that in my house, we, we don't, we, I don't want that in my house. But, uh, but yeah, you just, like I said, you're going to continue embarrassment, you know, envy. Like I said, he, he, like I said, people going to talk about this on social media and all that type of stuff. People going to talk to people that you, they didn't even, did they even DJ Envy knows they're going to be talking about how it's bad. About you, you know, you, you have a weak sex, sex game and all that. Just embarrassing, man. Embarrassing. Let me ask y'all a question. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard Denzel Washington wife want to be in the spotlight? Nope. Have you ever heard Cookie Johnson ever want to be in the spotlight? Nope. Why is it simps allow their wives to convince them to co-sign on tell-all books? Men are private person. That's not some shit somebody's supposed to be listening to. She out her rabbit ass mind for even, for for even even cause so that cause you wanna know why it doesn't make her look bad, it makes him look bad. And mind you, I bet you the conversation went like this: I just want something for myself. I just want something for myself. I'm a writer. This is I've I, I've had your kids. I put this aside. Why can't I just have something for myself? Now you made your now you just emasculated your man in front of millions of people. Is it the red table talk all over again? The the breakfast table? That's in, is that what's gonna be the new show? Men need to start taking charge of their relationships in a sense of now not allowing their women to put them in compromising positions. And let's be real with you. I could only say this and say this from in an opinion point he probably started cheating knowing he could not please his wife. What man is going to still be have sex with a woman if you can't please his wife? No, but my, I have a second opinion though. I really think she didn't do anything wrong in, that, in this aspect because um, she stated, she stated in the comment she was doing it to please him. I'm not going to lie. Kudos to her. Because um, that's the whole purpose of a woman is to please the man, rather she get her nut or not. So I don't think she really did anything wrong in this aspect because I think she's showing women that, hey, our orgasm really doesn't matter. It's about him getting orgasm. That That is true, but you know male ego is so fragile. No, but he's getting the orgasm. She's not getting the orgasm. <laughs> Who cares about how she feels? She, that's what she's trying to say. I don't care how I feel. I'm trying to please him. That's why I say she really didn't do anything wrong in this aspect. So this one, I'm kind of with her on this one. Normally, I know we don't be on a woman's side, but this one here, I'm with her because she said, hey, I did whatever it takes to please him, even though I didn't get my nut off. Then she should have she should have kept it to herself and say, hey, you know, you don't please me. He, he it said in the book that he was hurt, knowing that, and he probably was just like, whoo, whoo, whoo. Woo, 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 woo. Was trying to really get it in, thinking, thinking he, think he was doing something with the Peter Weeder. But let's keep it real. Let's keep it real, gentlemen, on this platform. You know how them women fake it all the time when we smashing, and we think it's real, and it really ain't real. It's because they're doing it to please you, and it's a fact. That's what I'm saying. Is hey. it really? I don't know why DJ Envy is so upset because. She's really doing all that to please him. To be honest, I wouldn't feel no type of way at all. Mm -hmm. I would have been smiling the whole time. I'm like, look, it's showing that my woman is submission to me, even though I did my infidelity, because my he cheated. And she's still trying to please me. Come on now. Listen, it would have been better if he didn't know. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I, I would, hey, right, I would agree with you in this aspect if, if this wasn't in the book. No, nobody, but nobody's good to give out that type of information, Jordan, because a lot of women 
a lot of women are embarrassed in the bedroom because a lot of women are afraid to say, hey, I'm doing this to please my man. So they tend to hit it. You need, you need, somebody has to be an example for these modern day women today because women today are out of line. They have taken the bad seat. Now women today are saying, you got to cater me first before I cater to the man. Mm-hmm. In this book, he's telling men, like, look, you got to cater to the man first, then he caters to me. You get what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. why I say I'm kind of weird on this one. But go ahead, mm-hmm. let you finish the point. No, I understand, but to, to do that, but it wouldn't be my wife doing that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a no-no. Yeah. I, I don't play all that. Go ahead, Akeem. <laughs> me either. I'm divorcing you as soon as you send me. Hey, I think I want to write a book. Write a book about what? Oh, just about our lives. But you got to understand, your life is in the public eye. When you become a celebrity on The Breakfast Club, remember, I think how many people tune in a day in the morning, like a million people a day tune in to The Breakfast Club. So you all in the eye. I actually met DJ Envy in person at a club. I actually talked to him in person. So I'm like, they are like a public eye. He's doing you walk down the street, everybody like, hey, it's DJ Envy. Everybody know who he is. He's one of the hosts in the Beverage Club. It's the same thing as us. We like one of the public figures too. If they see Jordan with his wife, they're like, look, Jordan with his wife. You hear what I'm saying? Now it's up to them. They want to share whatever's going on. They choose to live that lifestyle that they want to share what's going on in their bedroom. But, the- but I would right. I wouldn't wouldn't do that, Ronnie, because there's some as there's some aspects of my life I want to keep private. I, I, I won't, even though I have a I'm I'm out there in the public like all the time. There's certain there's certain stuff I'm gonna private in my life because since I'm because you know I, it's like every I don't want you it's like everybody knows your business you know publicly and then privately and my thing is it's like you know it's like to me like especially in America it's, it's sacred there's some things you should keep sacred in that household right. and keep and keep it like that. And you and you keep it to the day you die. Nobody needs to know because that's because that's like a some type of sacred you have with one of each other. And especially being in a public eye, you know, like with that Will Smith stuff. I would have, like I said, even though the stuff that happened, you know, the last couple of years, I would I wouldn't want to hear rumors about it instead of being on a beating on the um, red table talk. Even though they're 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 both being transparent. But for me, I was rather hear the rumors about it. Think if it's true or not, than to have it out there in the open. I agree with you. Yeah, good point. I just think that this is not like the first time a woman has put a man in a compromising position where it made him look weak. It made him look impotent. It made him look not like a real man. I don't know. I think she, the only time I think he made him look weak when he got into his feelings, because me, I won't even care. They'll be like, Ronnie, you don't please you. But I'll be like, I, if I was DJ MJ, you know how many times women fake it all the time in the bedroom? They just don't make a pop. Mine, they may not tell us. Mm-hmm. But they tell their homegirls, they tell everybody, they tell their mom, their grandma, all the women in their circle, like, look, I fake orgasm. Women say it all the time. I heard women say that even in my job, say they fake orgasm. It's mm-hmm. like, it's nothing new. Men too fake orgasm too. When a man not talking to a woman, he be faking the hell out of that orgasm. Yeah. Yeah, there was actually, there was uh, a couple of, um, yeah, it was me and my wife and a few people that we lived in a apartment complex. We was in Eaglewood, and you know we was talking, and we and she, you know she gave me a fact. I don't know if it's true. I think it's like she said between eighty five to ninety one percent of women fake their orgasms. Mm-hmm. Right, correct. That's a so, that's a fact. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. See, they faking it, so it's like it's nothing really to be something to shame of mm-hmm. because. But I was just pleased at the fact that she was trying whatever she took. To please him, that's why mm-hmm. I'm like kudos but my, to her because you don't hear women saying all the time. Go ahead, Joy. But my thing is with that, it's like I feel like with you know with with the women and, and the other. I mean, not not me, but I feel like there's lack of communication while you while you go in personal sex and everything. I feel like there needs to be more communication, you know, from from, from, from a man and woman to you know to, to tell like, hey, this is my spot right here, all that type of stuff. I feel like there's just you know just just having sex and have sex. Yeah. Yes. I agree with you. Communication is a big factor when it comes to intimacy. Just that the fact that they just want to put this out on public, this is a little bit distasteful. The back can't be that serious. You want to put a tell-out book knowing that you can't shaboing boy with your wife. (laughs) 
Yeah. But I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, Haki, a lot of people, a lot of women don't really have one guys with the man they with. I'm just being, and it's just a fact. You no, get you, what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, it's never to be ashamed of. You're right. You're right. Absolutely. <laughs> that was it. But I, I think he, like you say, he's upset because, like Joy said, because he, she put in a tell-all book and now it's going to be in there in history. But I promise you, there's millions of men they could say, like, they could approach DJ Envy and say, look, look DJ Envy, I don't mean let my, my wife don't even get an orgasm or my girlfriend don't even go out of I, niggas be like, I don't care. As long as I get mine, I think mm -hmm. that's what most dudes say anyway. As long as I get mine, I'm good. Well, 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 let's bring up that woman Jada. Remember that very typical where she said, it's been a long time since I felt good. Exactly. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I felt, I saw Will Snow's face and I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I, uh, it's just, it's just what she said, a long time. It's like, oh my God. And this yeah. is your wife though. <laughs> that shit was sad, bro. Oh, that, that was sad. <laughs> Yo, bro, lots of time it has to deal with any emotional and thinking about a woman right. who's fucking with you. Right. You know right. I mean? So, so like, if she doesn't see you as nothing, she ain't gonna be able to bust no nut. Like, that shit had hit my heart when I heard that. I'm like, nah, man. And not only that, but mama, he did infidelity. Mama, he cheated. So she kind of was losing her attraction when she found out he was cheating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he, he had a long time affair. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. 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 It was a long time affair. So women, like you say, women are not going to fight you on the trailer, but I promise you, there's stories out the stories of women having a hard time in the bedroom. That's why a lot of people say um, when you're in the bedroom, try to use toys or use other apps, use like your tongue or something else to, to please the woman because to please a woman is very hard in the bedroom. It's not as easy as guys think it is. I'm gonna have to agree with you on that, man. I don't know, unless y'all can throw it down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you got no, especially in the marriage. You gotta keep it spicy. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, do, some, you gotta do some interesting stuff. Nigga, I barely got dick for one girl, let alone two. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, like. <laughs> It, 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 and DJ Envy works a lot. Mario, he be in the Breakfast Club in the morning, and at night he's at the club. So just imagine his work schedule. So is that it? is a lot. Yeah, man. You no, know. it's treacherous, bro. <laughs> it's treacherous, bro. <laughs> So I, it, well, I, I feel like we might. See, I feel like this is not the only. One. I feel like this. We, we might see some more of this stuff. No, no, it, it's gonna happen. This is not the first time where you had somebody who came out publicly saying that they didn't please their wife as well. It's just the point of the fact is like, when your woman is so compelled to talk about this, this is not Ivana save our life. Like certain men want to hide and um, handle this stuff behind closed door. Like, okay, babe, well, let's just get back to it and see what we can do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like you and Jordan, Jordan said, it's the lack of communication on both ends. They're not communicating well, and they're very quiet on certain things. So it's very the lack of communication on both ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. especially when you're young, you just want to, you just want to get in and get in and get out. Yeah, yeah, basically. Fact. <laughs> Fact. Oh. Fact. Talking about Dunkin' and Donut and keep it moving. <laughs> you know what I'm like, yeah. but, but I guarantee you on the I'll guarantee you on the comment section you gonna have people coming in they're gonna comment and be like a lot of women gonna probably comment on the comment section like hey I'm having a difficult time in the bedroom as well mm -hmm. it's just it's just a natural thing you know so but DJ Envy shouldn't feel too bad but I do understand his pain because it is going in the tell all book but like you say he's just He's, it's DJ Envy. You know, he allowed his wife to do whatever. Too much. Yeah. Too much. It's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, um, it's not, it's not good for him, man. You know what I mean? It's not. Like, so it's like, when you start to look at this situation, he was like, hey, bro, how you allow your wife to do that? So she got you by the balls? 
Cause you cheated. No nigga. Take, take, you know what I'm saying? Like if she wanna leave, leave. Instead of putting yourself where you her personal rag doll. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these girls are people personal rag dolls, man. Like what the fuck is you talking about? I ain't doing none of that goofy shit. Mm-hmm. Facts. When I see stuff like that, I'm like, oh, I can't talk. I'm like, I'll talk to you, but I'm like, I don't want to talk to you for a few minutes. Oh, because I'm like, yo, man, you got you to talk, do something, yo, man, you a man. 100%. Yeah, yeah and I was talking to a girl one time. One girl I was talking to, she's like, I don't want to date a guy unless he got good, unless he could make me have an orgasm all the time. And I'm like, no, nah, that's not going to happen. She literally told me that. I will not talk to the guy unless he let me have an orgasm all the time. A nigga who don't work can give you an orgasm. Not no nigga who working two jobs. There you go. There you go. She and now you got but trying to build on the side too. Come on now. Exactly. So I don't know. Is it is this a, a touchy subject? And hopefully when the books come out, we can read it. And then we could go all late on it. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, I'm trying to be careful because DJ Envy might be listening in. So I'm trying Maybe, to be like man. very careful. And he'd be like, yo, we might have more on the show. He's like, yo, I want to do a show with you guys. You guys are slandering my name. <laughs> hey. Who should have just got his shit together? Honestly. A lot of these niggas are so boring, they need to be with white girls. Yeah. Careful. Careful. Because <laughs> let's be real about it. Some of these white girls will take you, and then you could be doing like this. You say, come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> Keep you when you want. Uh, yeah, careful. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I told me I got a topic. I got a topic for that. One of the topics we're not gonna do it now, but one of the topics I had, I, I had a topic go. Should a black woman learn from a white woman? Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. That, but that's not. That's not, that's not. That's coming soon. Yeah, we might. Hey, mm-hmm. We might have to go live with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one we gotta go live. Or it's or Hispanic woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that one right there. That's gonna be some smoke. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. So, because I keep always mentioning, <laughs> you always mention the brothers need to go over to the white woman. So, and you know, Umar said the same thing. I don't know if you heard of Umar. Umar said the same thing the other day. He was saying how, um, yeah, I heard it. Need, need, need to lead the black woman go with a white woman. He actually changed his whole message. Look at it in from perspective. Have these niggas as one of white girls, these niggas, these women didn't want them in the first place. Some of these dudes who turned into high value, man, these guys were so snot behind their ears, women were just walking by them. They can't yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll go live on that. That's, that's coming soon. <laughs> That's gonna be that's gonna be touchy. No, real touchy. Yeah. So, any so I would say thoughts? any final thoughts? Yeah, any final thoughts on this uh, on this topic here? I, I, got got my, yeah. I got I got mine. Uh, make if you're married or you're in a long term relationship, make sure you you keep some stuff sacred. You don't want to have all everything in public. Cause people gonna people gonna be talking and what's going on in your house. So, like I said, make sure most of the stuff you keep stuff that that's private to you, keep it private. That's my final thoughts. My kind of I kind of agree with Jordan as well. Like if you have any issue with your marriage, just have communication, have dialogue because some certain things, especially when it comes to the bed, the bedroom, it's supposed to be sacred between husband and wife. So I don't think it should be an everybody tell all bug or everybody should know about that. Because at the end of the day, someone's gonna get, you know, emotionally damaged. That's it for me. Or my final thought. My final thought is this: be able to set boundaries 
on things you would do and things you won't do. And don't be peer pressured into doing this based on the object of love and all this. It's about respect first before you can enter into love. And like always, man, we we like to thank because we did reach 100, 100 subscribers on YouTube. We want to thank everybody for um, for tuning in each and every week. We want to thank you. Like and subscribe. Like and thank subscribe. you. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Click the notification at the bell so when we go live, you know when you know what time it is. So you already know me, Jordan Hakeem. That being said, Chaos Culture Radio. We, we out. out.